I don't even know what that was. I'm going to get mad at you because Why? I know it's coming. Because we, we talked about the names just before we went on the air. And I know the names come, the one name I have, and you're going to just start beating me up for it. Yeah, oh, God, yeah. Listen, I just want to, again, to uh, dispute the illusion. Mario and I, when we cut episodes, we don't talk about this stuff ahead of time. Like, no. very rarely do we ever say, hey, I, there's something that I want you to be ready for. Most often, we kind of have a feel for what is going on in the NFL and how we want to cover it, but we don't often have... Perfect. topics no. picked out ahead of time so a lot of times this is all conversation like what you guys leave in the comments section that's why anything you leave in comments we'll probably get to because we just we're just talking football with you yeah so here's one we did put a little bit of work into but we didn't tell each other who we were going to talk about and that is the right side of the offensive line and we're going to do uh, a combination, right? We're going to look at free agents and guys who could be cap casualties all in one. Let's fix the right side of the Bills line right now. Make sure you hit that bell for more Bills news. Yeah, they do not have a right side have, of the line. If you happen to miss when we talked about the left side of the line, uh, I, I'm going to put a card in up here somewhere. So you can could, you could check that out, see uh, what the left side of the line, what we could do for it. I love how whenever Mario says what he's going to do, he turns into Vanna White. Isn't that great? She's still working. She's like 70. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Still walking heels, man. Okay. The t Strongest cabs in America, Vanna White. Let's move on. So now I have a couple guys. I have six guys. Not really gonna. I do not have that many. No, I'm not gonna talk because there's nobody. There's nobody <laughs> out there. It's a desert. Uh, a couple guys are free agents. A couple guys maybe cap casualties. So we're gonna like like Paul said, we're gonna just lump them all in. First guy I have, right guard for Seattle, DJ Fluker, 27. I like that thought process. Okay, right? he's a, he's a former first round pick mm -hmm. of. Doesn't Chargers. Matter. Yeah. I think okay. Right. He went to the Chargers. Uh, the admission at the park uh, for, for protecting Philip yeah. Rivers is very expensive. He did not meet that admission. He did not meet that admission. <laughs> not as a rookie. <laughs> you must be this tall. And apparently, Russell Wilson is about that. Right. right. So he got to go to Seattle. Didn't play very much. No. Nope. All right. I think he's uh, he's played nineteen he's played nineteen games in two years. Mm -hmm. So there's not a lot of tread on the tires. However. The guy was a former first-round pick for a reason, and I don't want to say he's been a bust because I don't think you can constitute a guy as a bust while he's still playing in the league. So he still has a chance to do that. Uh, he's playing at a guard. Right? He's not. It's not like he was drafted as, as a tackle and right. moved in. He was drafted to play guard. Right. So he's a guy who's just a hammer. Mm -hmm. Why not? Why not just pick him up, have him be your hammer? I know, well, the, look, I know the offense is changing. But. Right, but look at the teams that he came from, right? So we played last year in Seattle. Who had to run the football? They had to run. Mm -hmm. They just didn't have a choice. That offense was bad. They had to run the football. And when you look at the Chargers, the Chargers, the reason their pass game is so effective is because you are worried about Melvin Gordon and Austin Eckler most of the time, mm -hmm. right, the last couple seasons. So the run game is a paramount feature to both of those offenses. If you're looking to run the ball, I see why DJ Fluker makes sense. I get that. I would, I would like to. Plus, he's a monster. Yeah. He's so he's a big dude. Freaking... He's a big dude. All right. I see your DJ Fluker, and this is free agent, right? Yep. AJ Can from Jacksonville. He's 27. Now, if you look across the offensive line, AJ Can is probably the weakest of the links in the offensive line. I will not doubt. I do not doubt that. He is not a good, he's not good at pass protection compared to your standard guard. But again, if you're looking at a mold of a guy who you just want to run the football, AJ Can makes a lot of sense. Not only that, but he's durable, super durable. Get this. In the last four seasons, percent of snap counts, 95%, 92%, 100%, and his rookie season was the lowest at 81%. He's, he's, only, he's only ever missed like three games in his whole NFL career. Like, it, he is a guy that's just a road grader. Does so the, Does the tread worry you? A little bit. He's 27, so I'm not. I'm not really worried about it. You know, uh, if we're looking to quick fix the line, AJ can. He's a durable piece. You can plug and play him. He's not going to cost you a lot. Um, and again, Jacksonville 
running the football is a pro, is a primary focus. For yeah. Me. So, yeah. Um, I see your uh, DJ Fluker. I rate you AJ Cam. Like what do you it. got so, next? So, so now we got run. We got run blockers. I'm gonna yep. continue with that theme. All right. Are they ready for this? Oh. Ari Kwanjo. You're fired. From Washington. No more Kwanjo. <laughs> 16 games in the last three years he's played. Oh, God. Why are we even talking about this? Because he's 26 years old. He was the better Kwanjo. For better or for worse. And who are the two stars on offense? In defense last year for the Bills that were like sleepers. Like you didn't think that they, coming into the season they were going to be stars. You get to name one guy in the defense, one guy in the offense. I'm not talking about anything that has to do with Ari Quanto, so you just have to tell the people. Okay. Levi Wallace and Robert Foster were two very bright oh, spots. Alabama, Alabama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see where this is going. I'm just saying, it, it happens to be a big thing. Quanto. It's, it was better than Cyrus. I'm just Washington's not going to be able to afford him. He's a guard that you can get that's cheap that you can mold in your own image because he hasn't played a lot of games. Sweet Jesus, so, I can't believe we're even having this. He's a road grader. I get it. All right. Does this highlight the fact that there's nobody? I know there is nobody. <laughs> Um, speaking of nobody, let's talk about TJ Lang from Detroit for a moment because he's probably going to be a cap casualty. He saves Detroit like $2 million. Did T- 30 he play for, did he play for Green Bay? I think he might have. Okay, so you, wait, 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 wait. You didn't get to ride the Aaron Rodgers ride because you got, you left I think, there. I think he might have. And you went to Detroit. <laughs> you went to Detroit where Stafford got sacked a bunch. Uh-huh. No. Well, I'm not saying he's good. I'm just saying he's available. <laughs> he only played 30% of snaps last year. The year before that, 77. The year before that, 72. I'm not, I'm not saying, saying he's, he's good. good. I'm saying he's available. Availability is the best ability. Oh, my God. That's the best quote. I'm putting that on a T-shirt. <laughs> Hashtag sports. I'm not saying he's good. He's available. <laughs> So, I got a better one for All right, go ahead. All right, this guy, he may... Now, these are guys that may be cap casualties. All right. Brandon Sharif. Oh, okay. Out of Washington. Out of Washington. Love yeah. him. 27. I like Sharif because he went to Iowa, I think. I well, like yeah. him out of the draft. He loved all them, all them Big Ten farm boys. Yeah. Well, they know how to block. they got to keep quarterback safe. Yeah, true story. I, I like him. I don't think Washington can afford him. Washington is, is having a little cap trouble yeah. up there. If they cut Josh Norman... They, yeah, they could probably afford him. I know, Josh Norman. Yep, Josh yeah. Norman. Brandon Sharif, heck of an option for the Bills. Yeah, uh, I like Brandon Sharif a lot. I think they may. I think he could do. They may have a do franchise it. tag. That might be a franchise tag guy next year. I'm saying. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Exactly. So, but they got to survive the cap this season, and that's kind of the problem, right? They got to survive his cap now yeah. in order to make that happen. All right. Um, my tackle, uh, that's free agent. Jawan James, a lot of people are going to talk about him. Tackle from Miami, he's 26. Um, snap counts for the last two seasons, the last three seasons, 89%, 70%. He was hurt. Um, and then 99%, I believe, the season before that. So he's played a lot. I know you're not about division, guys. I can see the look in your eye. You're hey, not about hey division, I sold guys. my soul for Trenton Brown. You did. You did. So I'll do that. Um, and there have been two seasons over his career he's missed half the season because of an injury but this guy's primarily a pass blocker a pass blocker so if we're looking at fixing the right side I, I'm okay okay I'm okay with I'll with this that. right with yeah. um, again he's got to be a free it. agent um, I know you write the right tackle is typically again your real heavy tackle that you want to kind of bull rush everybody and, and yeah. clear that space but if I'm trying to develop Josh Allen, I need Josh Allen to know that when he's dropping back, he can, he doesn't have to worry about the things that he can see, right? Because I think a lot of times quarterbacks, as they're developing, they worry about the stuff they can see, right? Or well, they'll see it, and then they're creatures of habit. Right. So, all right, I'm not. They may jump out of the pocket a little too soon. So. Right. Exactly. And if Jordan Mills was your right tackle, wouldn't you jump out of the pocket a little too soon? <laughs> Just throwing it out there. So I like Juwan James in that mold. I think he's somebody that could, again, he's plug and play. Drop him in. He, he is pretty good in pass uh, pass blocking. So um, that's that's something that I would look for in a right tackle. I'm not looking for somebody who can run block. I'm really looking for somebody primarily who, uh, who can pass block. 
that, like that's just like the it. way that I'm approaching the whole. I like it. All right. What's now, your, what's now that the appetizers are over, I know. Are you right? ready for the main course? I'm yeah. gonna throw three at you right away. Yeah. Go ahead. Boom, boom, boom. Lael Collins, yeah. Brian Balaga, yeah. and Jack Conklin. Oh, Jack Conklin. Jack Conklin next year. He's 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 due like nine million this year in his oh, fifth year. Yeah, it's fifth year option. Fifth year option. So his team. Well, the cool thing about the fifth year option is a team could trade him on that fifth year option. It cost them nothing to trade him. Yeah, he's I free to trade. He, they they can't trade. They. I just mentioned him because next year it's an interesting thing to talk about. They're probably going to extend him. Tennessee has the amount of cap to yeah, do that. Yeah, they do. I mean, I like Conklin, Conklin and, Luan. and Luan. They're crazy good. That's the best. I think those are the best I tackles. Like both, I like both those tackles coming out of college, too. Oh, my God. We want to talk about just mean and nasty tackles that, yeah. you know, I, if, I had yeah. that, if I had that line, it would be crazy. Yeah. Which is weird because Mariota just always seems it's like he's terrible. on his back. I know. They're, they're, that Tennessee team is not uh, But as far as the first two, which is more realistic, Lael Collins and uh, Brian Balaga. Yeah. Uh, Balaga saves the Packers some money. They're, they're having a little bit of cap trouble. Uh, he's going to be 31, I believe. Well, and let's not um, forget that, you know, the Packers of old where they didn't sign free agents, they're gone now. That front office is gone. Yes. It's not the same front front office anymore. So they're mm. going to be concerned about how much cap money they have to sign free agents. Before, the Pack were never about signing free agents. They're it's about a different. Picks. Yeah, it's different now. It's different yeah. now. You know, um, I, I liked Balaga two off seasons ago when he was a free. I think it was off season or free agent two. I still think ago. the guy's been a right tackle for Aaron Rodgers for a while, mm-hmm. and he know he gets it. Yeah, he gets it. Keep your quarterback upright. He's the franchise. You need guys with that mindset coming in here, not just okay. Um, I'm this is my job. Yeah. No, you you got to try to keep the quarterback yeah. upright uh, in in multiple. And Rodgers moves around. Yeah. Quite a bit. So he he's he's adjusted to blocking for a quarterback of that style. Mm-hmm. Uh, not, I'm not putting Allen No, 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 in but Rogers, Rogers, Rogers manipulates a pocket very well. Okay. Yeah. Rogers um, manipulates a pocket very well. Yes. And hopefully with time, Allen will be able to do that as well. Collins, I like because it's. Well, I mean, it's like, cheap. He's 25. Yeah. Right? And he saves 8.5 if they trade him. That's a lot of money to save. Well, they're, they're, already, they're already 50 under the cap. As far as the, you talk I know, about the but, Cowboys, but yeah, but they're not going to be able to sign him to an extension. That's the thing. They're not going to be able to lock him up because they've already locked up their left tackle. They're not going to invest mm. another 60, 70 million in the right tackle. They're just going to look for another one. If you want to lead the league in rushing every year, I guess you can do that. Well, you throw. <laughs> I mean, let me put it to this way: Would you take Leal Collins? Would you give up your second round pick for Leal Collins? It's ninth overall in the second round. It's a big pick. It's a starter. Yeah. At a valuable position. He's on, a one, in, on a one-year deal. Does he have any injury concerns? No. Okay. A snap count. Uh, Let's do Leo it. Collins, 99, 100. Uh, Let's do it. I'll do it. Oh, you know what? Leo Collins missed some time. They stole him. They did steal him. Uh, he no, did, I think he's rookie he, did he didn't time. play as much. Uh, he missed He missed time his third season. I don't remember what oh, it was. Oh, he did? Oh, okay. Yeah. He only played three games his third season. So I don't remember what it was. But would you give up a third round pick for him then? Maybe not a second round pick. Would you give up a third round pick for him? Well, if I'm willing to give up a second, then I give up a third. Yeah. So right. uh, Layout Collins, it. plug and play at the right side. He's he's good too. I, like, think, if you talk, I think it's pretty much guaranteed I, I would give up a second round for a left tackle. Well, yeah. Okay. But the way that you said the offenses are changing now, it's pretty much yeah. both of those guys. Well, and also don't forget, Amari Cooper is a free agent next year. Leal Collins is a free agent next year. Like you got to make your choice here. Like you've already committed the resources to Cooper. They're going to sign him to an extension, and he's going to cost you way more money than Leal Collins. Yeah, but he's not going to cost you fifty. No, but he's going to cost you. He's going to cost you cap. He's going to cost you money, and your left tackle is already expensive. So. Well, you can't get the ball to Cooper unless you're blocking for him. I get it, but I think if you give him a third round pick, they'll just find another. They'll find another right tackle in the third round. I think that's the Good path point. that they would they would path they they would take. Um, one guy that uh, is out there that you are going to hear his name because he's cut, and apparently that's what we do in Buffalo is when somebody's cut, we talk about how they're a good fit for Buffalo. Donald Penn, thirty seven from Oakland. No, no, he's going to get cut. Like he's making like ten million dollars. Donald Penn. No, the answer is no. Don't do it. Not worth it. Why? We need that veteran leadership. How bad has it been? How bad are Mills and Miller that people would rather sign a 37-year-old <laughs> than re-sign one of them? Yeah, I know. I know. I can't. Donald, he's gonna. He's probably going to get caught. No. No. 37. Why don't you call Robert Dallery, see what he's doing? He's probably hanging out with Janikowski at a bar. <laughs> Good old Janie. Yeah. 
So I think that fixes the right side of the line. I think you could piecemeal the right side of the line together with two of those guys. Those, those are some scary options. You like the draft better, huh? No. 